Oh my god, a dragon. Are you kidding me? Look at this guy, he's fantastic. Oh, don't come near my city. Oh, what does it take to kill that guy off? Alright, welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms and Castles with your host Midnight. And sorry about that. We've kind of I've kind of left off on this series a little bit. I've been working really hard to try to get a challenge for Banish together with uh, several other YouTube players, and I have been um, it's it's been taking a lot of time to get that up and running. It's it's been a lot of work. So I've kind of let my other series slide just a little bit. But now we're getting back to Kingdoms and Castles, getting back to somewhat of a normal schedule. And I'm still trying to figure this game out. I, I, you know, a, any city builder game has its series of challenges, right? And you, it's usually, it's always just about resource management. How do I get this resource or that resource going so that I can build everything that I need? In this case, it's uh, exactly the same. Uh, trying to uh, keep people alive and have them survive uh, long enough that you can build up whatever it is you need to build up in this case you're really having to worry about food and 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 in this one which is you know different than than any other resource or, or city building game well that's not true uh I, what i was thinking is that these guys wind up leaving your town and banish they don't wind up leaving your town in in um planet base they don't wind up leaving your t oh god vikings are constantly invading and vikings are constantly invading um, but that, you know, I turn around and think I was thinking about, uh, city skylines and it's like your population can leave you and does often leave you in city skylines if you are not doing the right thing. So unfortunately I just put down a bunch of stuff and these guys are going to kill me off. Oh, I love that shot. I, I love games that allow you to have some sort of free camera. I think that is awesome. And here we go. It's, it's on. Dun, dun, dun. I don't have enough protection. I really don't. I mean, I'm doing somewhat okay. If I could stop the fire guys. The guys with the torches. Ooh, I, did I survive that? Totally did. Stop that guy. Woo! This might be one of the first times that I survived an invasion. Did I survive the other side? Or are they still coming? There was another one, right? Whoa, I think I might have survived this invasion. Get out of town. That's incredibly encouraging. All right. They're starting to slowly... Where I, I, The problem is I, the last invasion, uh, the Vikings wound up burning down a couple houses, and so now I don't have the population. My whole population is busy. I don't have enough beds. The other thing I ran into, though... Is that, um, yeah, I started to have some starvation happening too. This is a tricky balance. This game has a very tricky balance to it. You really have to be careful. My happiness is kind of iffy. I don't really have the manpower to run the tavern full time. Um, every single one of these facilities. Isn't this done? Come on, get you guys got to get that done. Uh, every single one of these facilities take takes people to run. Oh, okay, good. We just got that manor up, which is 25 residents. It's just fantastic. Um, and so, and you, and you can't vary that number. Like the tavern, it takes four workers. And if you have four available workers, guess what? It's going to use those four workers. So pretty tough there because there, it's eating up a ton of people. A lot more people than I expected it to eat up. And it's the same with all of this, the stone production. I, I would like to run this second quarry. Oh, let's open that up, actually. As soon as I start getting some extra people in. Oh, we need to grow more food. Uh, good day, good day. My tax rate is two, and people are still somewhat okay. That's fine. Let's let's keep it that way. Uh, as soon as I get extra people, though, the, they'll start coming over here, right? Can I... 700. I'm doing okay with this 700. Let's keep those off for now. I would rather have people start working this quarry. We need to get our defenses up. And keep building that scenario. I can get the, I can definitely get some happiness in by 
turning that tavern on. But uh, I don't know that we're going to go about doing that right now. Yeah, we still don't have enough work. I think all the extra workers are building. Hopefully that's the case. But I like when you when you plant something down that it automatically takes from that resource. So it's like it says it costs 20. It, it, think of it as gold, right? It just automatically takes out of your bank account. So you don't have to worry about it. But they have to move it over, which is good. It's going to take a while for them to build this stuff. So let's go ahead and jack up the speed. Try to get this. I, I don't like that the fact that these walls are are only one high. I am getting in more people. I'm filling up those beds. I, I have to stay awake to the fact that those people are going to eat more food. And if the seasons are not, it's not instantaneous. You don't instantly get food. It goes in seasons. So I have to make sure that every season we're replenishing as much as we're eating. And so I do have another, what is it, uh, five fields? Five fields ready to go. The thing about the towers, too, the higher up that you can, or the, the walls, the higher up that you can get the walls, the larger of a radius people have to shoot. Okay, so I'm, I'm watching the food here. So now we've dropped down. Okay, we're, we're, we just harvested again. Good. I'm, I'm a little bit panicked about that. Stack these walls up as much as I can. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's also rats will turn around and eat your food, and that's pretty bad. All kinds of things can happen to your village, which is, uh, this is, like I said, this is neat. This, this game is neat. Not only is it graphically pretty. It seems like the gameplay is is pretty solid. This is only in a, it's a beta build. It's beta one. I don't know how much more, how many more features they're gonna incorporate into this beta build, or into the build before they release. But it seems um, pretty good, pretty pretty good. Now that was a market. Maybe, oh, I have a road over here that I can stand at. I was concerned that I wasn't going to have any space. I did put down some wells last episode, I believe, to make sure that I had enough. Fire coverage. Because of those Vikings. They come in and they just, they'll start torching up. Torching up the town! Let's, let's, uh... Let's put down an archer tower here. Just to cover that side a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wish that you can turn off some of the warnings. It's like, okay, I know that I have an excess of food and I know that there's going to be some rats. I don't need to see that again. I don't need to see that every single time that that's going to happen. It's a little too much. The question is, can I get another manor house in here somewhere? It's too far away from a road. Isn't there a gate? Yes. That's too far away from a road. Ooh. But I can put a gate right here, right? No. Why can't I put a gate there? Huh. Can I move this archer tower? No, I can only demolish it. Hmm. Err. Oh, I don't want to... Uh, Alright, well let's do this. Instead of we demolishing it, let's build up another one first. Once that gets built, then we'll demolish the other one. And I should have been able to put a gate right there. That's that's not very nice. They should have let me have a gate go in there. Unless for some reason a gate takes up more space than what I'm thinking it takes up. 
Well, let's try to get some of the population up a little bit and start working on getting the other side of this. A uh, terrible plague slept the land. 19 people. Something happened to 19 people. Let me slow down the, the speed a little bit. Actually, you know what? Cancel this. I hate to take over this fertile land. This is... It's horrible to have some of this fertile land, but I, I need to... I need room for my city to grow. How am I going to do this? I, I, oops, sorry about that. I tried to think about how to build this city out. And I have a lot of room for growth. Uh, I kind of built myself into a dead end over here. Maybe I can run this around. Okay, let's do this. Let's, instead of worrying about this other side for now... Yeah, let's let's worry about this side. And so let's take over. Let's put some stuff like this. And start building around. Unfortunately, all the fertile land is by the ocean, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. As somebody told me before, you shouldn't be able to build next to salt water like that. All right, let's demolish this one. And I think that was the archer tower that I demolished, right? Okay, let's demolish those two. Let's try to put in a, a, um, a stone gate. Oh, I need 40 stone. Hey, go pick up that stone. All right, beautiful. I can get a gate right in there. And now I can have people come out if I want to come out. Good. And so we should be able to do this, do that on the other side. I was thinking about... Oh, my food. I've got to pay... Wow, you got to pay attention to everything really fast in this game. How's the food doing? Let's see after this harvest how the food is doing. Six hundred. Let's bump. Let's open that up. Let's open one of these up. I don't want to have too many people working on it. I just want to make sure that we have enough people working on it. A bunch of people took that food to this market over here. So that was kind of cool. Can I get a... How about... Okay, how about we do this? These single... These are single Okajas, right? Oh, no, I didn't want that there. Dang it. Hovel. Oh, yeah, single little hovels fit there. Okay, perfect. Let's look at the manor again. Manor's pretty big. Let's put down a manor right there. So I have two buildings. That banner is going to be really nice. It's going to be a lot. What? What? Didn't I just see a pirate? Okay. Vikings invading new. No. Uh, you're unhappy. Happy, unhappy. I don't know what you're unhappy about. Don't be unhappy. Hmm. This backside over here. That's a problematic side for me. Shoot. We're going to have some destruction happen. We don't have enough archers. On this side. To defend my town enough. No! No! Get the guy with the torch! Get the guy with the torch! Did they get the guy with the torch? Haha! Oh. Did they get anybody? Uh. 
shoot, I couldn't tell if they got anybody or not. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's fortify some more. All right, let's go back with this other thought I was having, which is let's let's fortify this. I just don't have enough stone. This is a lot of stone. I could put a hovel right here, right? Let's do it. I can put a hovel right here too. Make sure we save. I have a habit of not doing that, not saving on a regular basis, and that causes me some problems. Some problems for sure. All right, I think we can go back up. Where's our food at? Hmm. Let's see, we just dropped down a bunch of houses and I don't know that they're gonna get built necessarily right away. But once they do get built, we're gonna need some food. They're miserable. Hmm. They're not miserable, they're at 50 something percent. If I have a festival, let's have a festival. That's just gonna bring up their happiness for a short period of time. That's cool little bar sounds. I wonder if they went into like the local tavern and just recorded some, <laughs> some tavern sounds. All right, well we did get 91 people in. Let's assign some people to some food. This is important. I'd rather have an excess of food then a lack of food. All right, that that should cover the the people that just came in, and then that when that manor house gets built, which is very close to being finished, and we have the hovel that we dropped down there. We have two hovels that we dropped down. That's gonna be a big change. Uh, let's see, five people wanted to stay. We had enough room for everybody to stay, so they did. Good stones going pretty well. We can start branching out a little bit more. Let's keep wrapping this around. We'll work on uh, what I think is we'll probably wind up working on doubling up on these walls over here. I, I don't know how the logic is for the game. If the Vikings can't find an, an access way in, do they automatically just try to find the most easiest route, which would be right over here, which there's absolutely no protection over here. And with that said, I should put some protection over there. I, I should put some towers. Let's build a tower. Here, here, maybe three towers across, and maybe one other tower over here. As soon as I have enough stone to do that, we're, we are definitely going to do that. All right, we just got a ton of beds available. We have 103 people now. We have one person that's sitting idle, which is not acceptable. But... A plague... Killed eight people. Hmm. What is that? Oh my god, there's a dragon! No, there's a dragon! No way! Screenshot! Oh my god, a dragon. Are you kidding me? Look at this guy, he's fantastic. 
Oh, don't come near my city. Oh, what does it take to kill that guy off? Oh, don't breathe any fire on anybody, please. Please, just kind of hang there. Oh, no, fire's coming down. No, <laughs> no. No, luckily I have some wells right there. Oh, he's doing a storage too. Ouch. Ouch, okay, we got it out, we got it out. We got it out. Wow. That was seriously cool. What did the people say about that? Oh, okay, he's gonna think twice before heading this way. Good. I like that he's gonna think twice before coming our way again, turkey. Let's double up this wall. We can have two more archers here. Let's create a tower. One, two, right there. I'm gonna need another tower right here. Oh, stone. I'm like hurting for stone. Food. 500-ish food with 125 people. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, don't tell me you're hungry. There's no possible way you can be hungry. There's plenty of food. Is it too far? Is that the problem with the food? Maybe the food is too far away? It's too lazy because there's a marketplace right over there. Go get out and walk, dude. Get, go, go to the market and get your food. 400 something. Alright, well we're getting that coming up. Hmm. Alright. I have a tower in place. Let's build Archer. Archer. Oh, can't build another archer. I don't have enough. I, I thought I had enough. Yeah. Okay. Three archers will go in. I put another archer here. I'd feel comfortable if I had one more over here. And I'd feel comfortable if I had one over here as well. Yeah, just not enough stone. Not enough stone, and I don't know... I mean, other than coming out here and running a stone mine, that'd be really far for people to go back and forth. I have a stone mine here. I have a stone mine here. I probably should... What is this building? Yeah, that's my bread guy. I should probably move my bread guy uh, over here or something. And uh, put another side to this stone. This one's iron. I don't... I don't quite know what to do with iron right now. That's cool. It's really, really cool. Somebody's consuming stone, though. Okay, it's finally starting to go up. I think maybe they were still building something. That was the reason why. All right, let's get a little bit frugal. How about how about just right here? It's fifteen. Come on, stone guys. And then what is it? Yeah, it's five stone. So 35 for a two high tower. And stone is not coming in that quickly. Is there a school or something where I can train people to be more productive? That'd be nice, right? What do we have here? Mason. Repairs damage structures. I don't have a mason. I don't have a mason yet. Food. I have almost a oh, hospital would be nice to have in there, wouldn't it? How big is the hospital? Insufficient resources. Yeah, okay. I, I understand that, but I just wanted to see the size, man. All right, and we have a great hall. We have a moat. Mm, interesting. 
All right, well, our episode's going kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and save it and go ahead and pause it. I appreciate you guys joining me on this mission. I got to see a dragon. A dragon was attacking me. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, look at <laughs> look at the flags. There's something wrong with the flags. Um, wow, that's bizarre. Okay, well, that's an interesting defect. Put a like if you guys like the series. Leave comments below if I'm doing anything wrong or you guys want to see some sort of improvement or uh, have a suggestion. That'd be great. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.